everyone. Uh, 7.32 on a Wednesday. Uh, got your comments, thank you everyone. Happy Christmas to you too. Uh, we are at 19.08 on subscribers. So well done, two more people join the club, the cool club. Um, I will find out the part number for the sockets that I bought yesterday for you. Somebody asked a question on that, I will sort that out. Um, we are making our way into work. The bin lorries are out picking up the rubbish. Um, yeah, it's real chilly, frosty today. It's definitely in the minuses. Obviously we have ice on the cars. Um, all set for snow this week, come on. Yeah, white Christmas on. Um, it's a good job, to be fair. Um, I've, I've found another couple of Land Cruisers that I like the look of as well. Um, so I've got three potential, three potential winners at the minute, which is always good. It's nice to have options. Uh, today I've got a Seat Ibiza coming in. Now this one is quite a strange beast because what we've basically got factory radio in the centre here. Um, the radio itself looks like a single din, but underneath it it's got switches um, for hazards, charge control, airbag warning, like a jewel, like a light. In fitting a new radio, we're gonna go double din. The double din pretty much takes up the edges of the fascia. So we are left with a problem, obviously, of where to relocate the buttons to. Um, now there is an extension kit available that moves everything down here next to the gear stick, uh, which again is, you know, another fascia, another extension kit, and the buttons that go at the bottom. All of that is extra, and it's gonna make obviously like a normal install that would be about five, 600 quid, probably closer to nine. Um, so it gets quite expensive. So we're gonna remove the radio today, and I'm gonna have a look at potentially if we can I don't know if we can do it without the extension and the extra fascia and the plugs at the bottom and see if I can just cut back the cabling and move the wiring lower that we can get the switches and the plugs working but without them being involved in the extension harness itself that would kind of be a good plan so that's our first job this morning if it goes ahead, then we'll get the radio installed. It'll have a Pioneer 160. Um, and, and yeah, and go from there. See, see what happens with it. It may or may not work, depending on if we... Hazard is a legal requirement. Obviously, you know, the airbag jewel and the traction control. Well, if he's not turning the traction control off, he's not nothing to worry about. But the hazard switch is very, very important as far as legality goes. Um, if there's a hazard, he needs to be able to tell motorists, so hiding it would be a big no-no. Um, but the other two, yeah, you probably get away with. Um, I'm off to McDonald's this morning. I can't be asked to go to Greg's. I'm waiting a queue. I'm going to do drive through It'd be easier. Now we've got the car warmed up. I don't want to get out of it. We did have a question. I saw, um, I think it was somebody from the States, because the radio mentioned um, Cirrus FM or Siri FM, whatever it's called over there. Uh, yes, that Pioneer radio did look very similar to the 160BT, the, the, sorry, the SPH DA160, the one that we've got. Um, your lighting, or sorry, your lead issue is, is most probably down to the cable or the uh, connection on your phone. It's not often that radios don't work with phones unless they're, you know, unless it's an iPhone only head unit and you've got an Android phone, then it will cause a problem. Um, but the general consensus is that if it's made for Apple and Android and it's not doing anything when you plug it in You either need to accept permissions as in like a USB file transfer or data transfer Or you're only using a charging lead not a full speed lead that needs to communicate information as well as electric charge um, I'm gonna get McDonald's and shut up. I will see you at work in a bit. Everyone have a good day Happy Wednesday my dudes Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
Morning everyone. Let me just turn this down a sec. Oh, right, so, uh, don't know where the seat is. It's late. Uh, but we have got Steve's Q7 in. Do you remember this one we did with the custom Audison install? We built the box and everything, it's all textured. Um, let me grab a torch, because it's quite cool. So we got this thing in. Um, so it's a full Audison system, 8.9 bit components in the front doors and rear doors and a sub obviously amp and processed in the back. Um, now, funnily enough, this thing is having a similar sort of issue. Um, we have, uh, if you kind of get in the car and start the thing straight up, um, the Audison amp comes on, but we don't get any sound. Um, similar to the T6 we had the problem with. So I'm gonna run an ignition feed to it because at the minute it is running off a DC offset and see if we can get it to sort itself out and not need to see power from the, or signal from the radio first before it decides to do something. Um, and if that doesn't work, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'll have to contact Audison again um, and, and see what they do or recommend. Um, but this is first one in this morning. We're gonna have a look at this and wait for the SEAT to turn up. Um, and then we will, yeah. See what happens with this, see if we can get it working properly. Come back to you in a bit. <clears throat> right then everyone, I'm officially a genius. So here's our Seat that we had in this morning. Now, uh, radio normally singled in and it had buttons along here. So what we've done is we've hidden the majority of the buttons that we don't need. And the only one that we do need is the hazard, which I've relocated just here for now. So he gets his stereo for Christmas, Bluetooth, DAB, USB in the glove box. We've had to cut the dash, got our panel in, radio is in there, all pioneered up, steering controls all work. But everything is done for this lad in time for Christmas with safety in mind and we've still managed to keep hazard button all good. Right, that was that switch panel I was on about, so the other one retains it all down there but it is like fully populated. So you get like heated seats and everything and obviously they won't work. So I think this is better. What do you reckon? Cool, right? Good enough. All right, let's get him down, have a look at this. See you in a bit. Oh, ah, we are banging on with the Lotus. Um, so drop the oil out of it. They do say that you can't remove a sump plug without getting uh, oil on your hands. Well, I don't have oil on my hands. Depends how long your extension is. <laughs> so this is the offending article. You can see there where the oil seal has failed. So this is smoking internally and externally and look at the mess it's created. Oil everywhere. Um, but I'm just looking at this. This is actually the way that these things are mounted. One is, one that side is closer to the engine and this one is actually further away from the engine. Um, so we've picked the right one to fail. Um, and actually looking at this, I'm wondering actually if I can tackle that without actually pulling the block out of the car. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we're gonna try it. Worst case scenario, I've gotta pull the engine anyway. Uh, but we'll do an oil change on it. I'm gonna see if I can take this, this turbo off this side because I should have enough room. But we're gonna get cracking on this. Wish me luck. Good luck.
God, I fucking hate K-Nut. <laughs> ah. So, what I'm trying to do is obviously give myself loads of extra work. Uh, evidently baptize myself under my own lotus. <laughs> what a penis. Uh, it's two or off. One I've not even attempted, and the other one kind of looks like a rusty washer. That, that can only be the, um, the, the way to describe it. It's rounded off. I've used my turbo sockets. They're just making the problem worse, chewing it up. Um, I've tried a little bit of heat on it and see if I could kind of ease it off that way. Uh, and I've just basically shredded it even further. Um, so I'm gonna have to have a little, a little ponder overnight how to how to tackle this. Um, oh shit! Obviously, feel free to get your comments in the comment section. Either one taking the piss. Let's turn that torch off. Uh, two, some helpful advice on removing really rounded off nuts. Sorry, really rounded off K-nuts, which are like oblong, so they don't undo, easy. That's the whole point of them being turbo nuts. Um, or C, just, I don't know, just, <laughs> just pray for me. <laughs> so we can do, if we need to, we can pull the engine, there's no, you know, the plan was to do that anyway. I just wondered if I could gently sneak in there and whip the old girl out without any hassle. Uh, but that seems that's gonna be harder than, harder than we thought. So I'm gonna knock it on the head for today, I'm done. Um, I'm wet, I'm oily, I'm tired, I ache. I've hit so many things with hammers and spanners and drills and guns and heat and, bollocks to it. I'm going home. See you all in the morning. I love you. Take care. Bye. Early the next morning. Morning everyone. It is a Thursday, the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, currently 7.42. We're on our way in. Hungry this morning. Need some brekkie. Uh, it's really foggy, it's really wet, you can probably see from the rain on the window. Um, still cold, not as cold as it was yesterday, there's no frost this morning. But we are due supposed to have some very cold temperatures this weekend. I saw on the news last night they were talking about minus 10 in Scotland. That's going to be unpleasant, especially if there's no heating. Um, so officially I don't have anything booked today. We may get people turning up to get Christmas prezzies fitted. Uh, but failing that, it's a another day of attacking the Lotus. Um, I've got one K nut that's obviously rounded to shit, and I've got another K nut that I've not even started trying to undo yet. We have a water line at the back, so basically with my turbos, the oil comes north to south. It's a gravity fed high pressure in the top and then gravity feed out the bottom into the sump and then water comes from the inside of the block through the turbo and then out and then off to the uh, the reservoir so the other two pipes that I can't really get access to I can get once the turbo is undone I can get you know um, access then to get them undone and they should come apart pretty easy um, and it will just be a return of putting it on other than we'll have nuts that aren't rounded off and I'll be able to get a spanner on them um, and then that is kind of done for now we obviously need to get some stuff ordered for the uh, the other engine but I, I doubt I'm gonna see any decent ordering um, Christmas is a busy time so the postal services will be flat out 
and I don't even know if the Conrods are available or in stock. I haven't phoned JE yet in, uh, in America. So that's kind of my day today. I've got to try and figure out how I'm going to remove this rounded um, K nut and then move on to the next one. Uh, it's going to be a fun day. Lots of lying down, sore neck, um, trying to get into a really tight hole with tools. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not looking forward to it if I'm honest. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But that's all I can do at the minute is just keep keep going at it, keep trying. Uh, so I'm going to get off to work. I didn't do a video yesterday, so you'll have a double bubble today. Um, I was just too tired and exhausted when I got home last night. Um, unfortunately, yesterday we had a death in the family. Uh, my uncle Harry passed away, um, mum's brother, which is terrible. Uh, he was a big, big part of my life. Um, probably the reason I am why I am, other than my dad. My dad was not really an entrepreneur, Harry was. Um, my dad was a school teacher. Um, so I got my kind of hands-on abilities, I think, from my old man, and I got my selling abilities from Harry, watching him. Um, but yeah, he passed away yesterday. Um, he was getting on a bit, um, and was just slowly, as as you know, as death is, it's not it's not an easy thing to discuss. But um, he was he was getting old um, and fragile and weak, and it was just. Um, it was just really sad um, and yesterday my cousin Ben phoned me and told me what happened yesterday morning um, and I tried to I tried to stay positive yesterday I didn't want to bring it into the video because I was a bit a bit upset yesterday about the whole thing so we just left it alone um, until I had time to kind of think about it um, but nevertheless we're going to have a funeral coming up in January now um, which sucks to start the year with a death but yeah, it's what it is. But <sighs> breakfast, everyone. See you in the morning. Well, see you in a bit, should I say? Not the morning. See you in a bit uh, when we get to work. Bye. Right, everyone. I'm allowed to turn the camera on now because I've been swearing and none of it was broadcastable. <laughs> um, so I've managed to do lots of things. One of them is whacking my own hand. Um, I've headbutted this disc so many times and I've literally been on this thing now for hours, 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 but I've got it undone. So we have got, look at this. This is how funny it's been. That is one of the K nuts that I've just had to remove. Look, look at the state of it. Um, so that is one of them. <laughs> uh, the other one, two, and somewhere under there, there's another one. We have got the turbo undone. I've managed to do uh, the top oil feed in from the head. That's undone. Um, I've literally got one pipe left and then the whole turbo unit can come down and then that's it. Um, we can tackle the rest on the bench. Um, if you see, see that braided line at the very back? Uh, let me just see if I can help you out. It's that one there. You see that one just above my finger? So that there is the water feed, which is going in the engine block side of the turbo, and then comes across this side and then up, up and out. Um, that's the last thing I've got to undo behind the filter. Um, and then we can drop that turbo uh, and put new studs in it, new nuts, bolt a new one in, do the lines. So we're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. It's kicking my ass, I can't tell you how sore my hands are um, and fingers from being whacked. I've created many different tools to try and help me along the way. And I've completely shafted all of my blue point um, sort of turbo sockets. So Jody's gonna have a load of these to change uh, come when we get back. Um, I'm trying with the thin spanners, I'm trying with the fat spanners, but what looks like is I need a 22 mil cross fit at the other side of the turbo. So I don't know how we're gonna get on with that. Um, we're just gonna try and see if I can undo it. If not, I'm gonna to have to go for the connection which is hidden behind the manifold, which is a bit of a twat to get to, um, but we shall see. But the hard bit is done. 
now it's just kind of doing the turbo swap get this one sent away so i'll come back to you in a bit um we have got an audi coming in an a4 is coming in at lunch or one o'clock i'm gonna stop in 20 minutes get some food uh hamster update we've had to separate the hamsters there's been a ruckus this morning and they're all kicking off um wifey phoned me very worried one of them is getting bullied so we've had to split up snowy the hamster she will be given an asbo and told to chill the cow um and my little hamster barley is yeah she's getting bullied and bitten bless her so hamsters have been separated the kids are in tears trauma because obviously we've got a delinquent hamster on the loose uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm going to keep smiling because I've got the turbo one done and I will see you in a bit. Hope you're having a good morning. Bye. <sighs> right. Hang on a minute. So, Audi A4 has arrived. Um, this one, unfortunately, I managed to get the wrong fascia for it. Uh, I thought it was an earlier model. We've got to get a new uh, plastic bit for it. Uh, so this is a Bose option. Uh, screw, screw, radio key, radio key, pull the radio out. We're going to fit him. Had a choice of three units. Uh, yeah, we've got Pioneer, which he's chosen. We also had a Kenwood and a Sony. So we could have had either one of those. Uh, but he's chosen the Pioneer, so we're going to put the Pioneer in here. Um, dab, Bluetooth, all of the fun stuff. And then the only thing I've got left to do is uh, change his fascia which we will do at another stage looks like he's got an ipod cable um dock of some description so we're going to start this one i'll come back to you in a bit when this one's done see you in a bit right everybody how are you you good um so today i haven't picked up the camera much i apologize about that um i've been sorting out a lot of orders getting things ready for christmas um Dealing with emails, questions, queries, you know, all of the above. Uh, we've got uh, Audi A4 finished today, but he's coming back in tomorrow, so we've got to do the fascia. Um, I've got things arrived for Wi-Fi, things sorted for me. Yeah, just a busy, busy day getting stuff done. Um, we've got the turbo off the Lotus. Finally got that off. I've got to swap over the lines. And then we can put one of the new ones on there and that will do us for the scramble that we're going to go to um, up in Bista come January uh, I am running around like a headless chicken excuse me if I'm I seem dis, you know dis, 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 uh, distracted that's a word one of those um, but we are sorted for today um we've got so much work booked in for new years already i'm just hoping we can get the stock uh be a bit of a letdown if we can't but i'm doing my damnedest to keep it all <laughs> keep it all going in the meantime um i've had some christmas presents delivered from customers and business associates which has been lush i need to do some shopping for them um but i am Packing up for today, I feel quite achieved, shall we say, in, in getting the turbo off the Lotus. I didn't think that was going to come as easy as it did. Um, but persuasion wins the day. We got there in the end, but it was a bit of a job. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to do that again in a hurry. Um, but we are just getting ready to go home for this Thursday. Uh, that's all I've got to say really I'm packing up I'm going to go home and cut a video up for you lot I'm taking a cube home I want to drive that have some tunes on the way home um, have a bit of a break from the truck we've got god how do you turn off an iPad it's a while since I've done it press and hold hello no, I want to turn you off <laughs> uh, there's the off button that's how you do it swipe and this one god these lucky kids it's a 
talk about best Christmas ever. Christmas hats, there's an iPad. It's the way we roll. Right, I'm waffling. I'm, I'm going. Have a good Christmas, everyone. Um, we may meet again before then, but other than that, see you in a bit. Bye. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio and now you've missed an episode.